FOG Andrew here and the coach here for Family Gamers. Welcome, War Gamers, to an exciting, awesome episode. Today, we are going to be reviewing Warhammer 40K Marnius Calgar issue 3. So if you have not seen our reviews for the first and second issue, go check those out. Uh, there'll be links somewhere, I don't know. Uh, but we're reviewing the third issue. What we've been doing, we're going to be reviewing each issue as they come out. It's going to be a five-issue mini-series, if you don't know. And we have not talked about our opinions on this book until right now, Coach. And before we get to that, if you didn't read it, and you want to read it and then watch the video, I would suggest stop it now, read it, and then come back because we're just going to talk about the book and we're going to spoil the whole thing. So if you read it, awesome. If not, go. We'll wait. Okay, we're glad you're back. So, so Coach. No, you go first. This what do you, you, I, you always, want? I, I always go first. All right, okay. So now okay. you said we, did, we haven't read it. We, we haven't discussed it. We have not we discussed read it. it yes. And now we're going to do the video. Oh. So... I thought it was dumb and boring. Okay. And that's it? Do you want... Do you, what, what did you think? No. Well, does that do, it? Do you want me to explain why it was dumb and boring? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, it was kind of cool seeing Marnius kill a bunch of uh, chaos, uh, you know, cultists, cultists and dudes and whatever. I thought it was dumb how he's like... He's like, oh, you know, saying to, I don't know, what, what this, what's this guy? He's one of the Mechanicus. Mechanicus, dude. Yeah, he's like an adept. So he goes like this. He goes, he goes. so uh, Mechanicus guy, do you have any strategy on, like, you know, what we should do? And he's like, well, you know. Well, um, he, it wasn't that. The, the Mechanicus guy cut him off and said, oh, I would have done this. He goes, oh, what are you thinking? He asked him what he's thinking. That's it. And then. He, he didn't take, he wasn't asking for a suggestion. And then Marnius goes, Marni, Marnius goes like, Okay, so um, anyway, so back to my origin, and then that was like a really dumb segue. Like he's like, he just says, he's like, it is. However, we were talking of another matter. You were interested in how I became. Yeah, how so I he basically came cut to, him off. Though. Right, but it was it was a, it was a really dumb segue. It's like yeah. Anyway, so my origin, because you know we have to segue back into my origin somehow, mm -hmm. and you know he's narrating and whatever, and still this whole you know go check out the last video if you haven't already uh we thought that tactus ta tacitin tacitin whatever i'm gonna say tacitin mm -hmm. uh is marnius calgar because marnius calgar died and tacitin took up the mantle of marnius calgar which we thought was dumb but whatever um a sp the space marine comes and saves tacitin from those uh those chaos dudes mm -hmm. like like the gore and stuff is pretty cool and like this, this portal opens up, and then, like, the Space Marine saves Tacitin, and then we go back to Marnius, who the Calgar estate is being... It's is, destroyed, uh, basically. It's under siege, and uh, Marnius is like, well, I guess we gotta get the big boys in and get everybody to come in and take out the the Chaos dudes that are taking over the Calgar estate. I thought it that I thought like the segue into into the his origin was dumb, um, and I also like thought that the it was just a boring. I thought it was boring, mm -hmm. you know, like I really did, and like I just I was reading it and I was like, is it over? It like I like is it almost over? Like I just wanna, mm -hmm. you know. And the only time I was really like, oh, that's cool, was the last page, mm -hmm. you know. And don't get me wrong, like some of the gore and stuff of like him, th like thank God this is a this is a parental advisory book, like not a T plus book mm -hmm. because they can go all out with the gore. It's awesome, but then like, what was it like? Like I, I don't know, like some of the gore, I don't know, it just looked weird. Um, I don't know. I mean, that that's really my only complaint about the art. The art looked good, but still, that's kind of my reasoning mm -hmm. for this issue. What do you think? This or issue was awesome. I don't know what you're thinking. I don't know where your head's at. First of all, as I'm reading it, I have to say, okay, I'm reading it and I'm reading it and I'm like, all right, 
You got to get past the fact that it's not Marnius. And it's that's what I, and that I was doing that. Okay. To be fair, I was so, doing that. I so was like, I'm not gonna. We already we already both agreed we didn't like that switch. You could disagree with us, and that's fine. But you know, opinions are like buttholes. Everyone has one. Sometimes they stink. So you can have your opinion. We're gonna have our opinion. So let's move on from there. The thing is, is that once I got over that and I started reading it, I was like, all right, this is 40k. Black Library, all the stuff that I've read before is like this. Okay, first of all, it's just basic. It's it's a very basic story. They're not getting too deep into the lore because, you know, it's got to be over 500 books that Black Library has written for the past 25 years or 30 years now. It's it's got to be. It's a very, like you were saying, I I wouldn't say I was bored, but it's kind of like safe. Now, I wouldn't say vanilla, safe. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, you know, oh, there's some bad dudes, and I'm going to give you my backstory. That, that's that's the overall thing. All right, so then what I liked was seeing that Marnius was using the the uh, gaunt uh, gauntlets of Ultramar because they're basically power fists, and he was just blowing people away with them and everything like that. And then um, the uh, the mechanic is adept. It's just he's annoying, but I, I don't know why he's in there. I think that's he's like the, the the dog that they put in cartoons for some reason, and the dog oh let's go let's go here you know that's like the, the the comic relief that they yeah. really don't need yeah so that's that's what he is but I guess and then he brought him back to his story but you know like the thing with Tassius was I guess losing his friend now he's all of a sudden you know he wants to kill these guys for whatever reason my thing was is I understood the whole thing with the um, uh, uh, the altar of corn. They wanted to open a a um, a portal, but this part was great. When the space marine sergeant comes with the power fist, that's that part was great. And what I loved was the way they showed um, uh, they shot into Crixus, blew him up because the the uh, all, all the bolt you know bolt pistols and heavy bolts and everything they're explosive rounds. So that's the way you know it came out great. Um, you know, and then and that was basically it. You know, like you said, you know, they go back to the uh, Calgar estate and whatnot. I, I, I like this issue a lot once I got over the whole Tassius Calgar, you know, name thing. Once I got over that, I went back to that, all right, he's Marnius Calgar, and here it is. So now um, I think the next issue is going to be maybe the gene seed and all the uh, implementation of the organs and whatnot because that's what it looked like. So, you know, now I'm kind of back on track. So... One was good, two was terrible, three was good. That's the way. I, that's in my opinion. But like, I do agree that it is a very safe story. It's not like um, you know anything's going on. But since this is a new foray into it, I think it's the safe way to go to get kind of get fans in. Like, oh, what's what's this all about and whatever. And I think that the main goal is this: is to get them into the miniatures game. That's yeah. that's that's the overall thing. But fleshing out the universe. I know a lot of people, though, I, I've spoken to a lot of people who like to read the fluff of 40K, but they they don't play 40K. So I guess it is out there, you know. there It's it's uh, a whole literary world out there that people are into that aren't maybe into the game, or maybe they played Space Marine mm -hmm. or, or, or Dawn of War, and now they're going to read it. So I think this is where it's kind of adding to that. So this is maybe another set of... Uh, science fiction fans so yeah I, i'm not saying that it was necessarily like a like bad i just think that it was boring mm -hmm. you know and i was reading it and i was like i don't really care mm -hmm. that much and i was and i'm and i was trying to get over the fact about marnius and tacitin or whatever mm -hmm. his name is uh but i couldn't and that kind of is ruining the book for me. Yeah. But also, then again, I just thought it was boring. Like, especially, like, his origin story. Like, even in the other issues, like, I was like, okay, you know, we're kind of fleshing out Calgar, you know. All right, I get it. But it, I, I did think that, like, the flashbacks to his origin were boring in the other issues. But I was still like, okay, this is his origin, you know, whatever. Mm. But now, like, after last issue, I'm like, okay, now it's just, now I just, well, I don't know, I, I, I just think, think it's boring. And then that's, like I said, that segue into 
He's like, all right. Anyway, um, so this is uh, continuing my origin. You know, I thought it was like. Yeah, but I, I think I thought was, that was very forced. I don't know. I, I think like, also the way I took it was, like, the Adam said something, and he was like, you know, like, like, who the hell are you gonna tell me, how to run a campaign or like what military strategy is all about, you know? And it's like, you know, when he started talking, he's like, kind of cut him off and said, all right, but you know, let's get back to what's going on here. He kind of cut him off and stuff. So, I mean, and he did it in a way like he was trying, you know, cause Calgar is not the, not rude. He just yeah. kind of like said, all right, let's get back to it. What we were originally done. You, you handle my origin story. I'll worry about the siege warfare. Mm-hmm. That's, that's the way I took it, you know? But, um, I think though there's two, two issues left. Yeah. And now it's like, they're going to start to do the, um, the process of becoming a space Marine and showing it in a comic form, and I think they waited too long. You know what I mean? Because I know, because because eventually he's got to be a he's got to be initiate, and then he's going to go in there and he's got to join the scouts. He's going to be in the tenth company, and then he's going to go out on missions or whatever. That I would have liked to see more of that than this. But maybe that's down the road. Maybe there'll be like an ongoing series about this. I would have liked to. I would have liked this series to just be. Uh, Marnius Caligar story of him dealing with some chaos on you know the moon or whatever Mm -hmm. and then we got then either do another mini series or do an ongoing series where we have the first five issues it's like he's on the moon he you know the whole thing you know like they're on the moon his home world or whatever and then after that story arc it's like, oh, and then they pan over to the statue of Calgar, young Calgar, and then it's like, it's like, wait, it says Cal, you know, Calgar this to this. Like the last then, issue. Well, yeah, that would be issue, like, let's say five. Mm-hmm. Then issue six, let's say if it was an ongoing series, issue six would be the start of another story arc sh- just showing the origin. So then they would do issue six would be like, the, just, just be the origin. We don't have to go back and forth between origin and that and then we would get the origin and then maybe by issue like nine or ten if that would be the last issue like around nine or ten it would be like oh uh tacitin and marnius calgar became space marines but then you know what i mean but i i think like even even him getting the name that would have been later on no i'm saying that that but that's why it should have been i think later on i I think it would have worked i think it would have worked where like you're saying like we kind of start off here, and then you know, like you know, Calgar the beginning and the fighting and stuff. Then he starts storing his origin origin story, and we don't go back to that chaos thing. Tell the whole origin story, and it's like right. now, you know, later on, like you know, we're 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 here they're, and stuff. They're trying to make me care about two different stories. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Where like I only really care about Calgar killing a bunch of cultists. That's really it. You know what I mean? Like. If they, if they, the cultists, you mean, or the, the, as the chapter at, master, or when at, he's, a, when he's saying, a kid? No, as the chapter master. Okay. You know what I mean? So, like, I feel like it would have worked better if it was like 10 issues or even I 12 issues. I think it would have been better if it was two separate stories. Right. Because I really. Either like, two different miniseries or just or just an ongoing series where you have two different stories. See, because I, I like I liked both. I wanted the origin story, but then again, the. Uh, um, the story of him killing the cultists, wherever, is just that's that's the whole universe. Right. So, but if they would have been two separate stories, I would have been I would have been okay with that too. I would I would have liked to see the origin progress more because I think by the third issue now we would have covered more. Yeah. But they're and, giving us drips and drabs going back and forth, back and forth. And I and I also feel like that you know like we don't get enough time. Like let's see, we have we got one, two, three. Four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. twelve. So, so twelve pages of the origin. The story. origin, and then like ten pages of regular story. Well, you know not I mean? not even like two, three, four, five, and then there's two more pages at the end. Right. So that's seven pages, mm-hmm. and I think you see that's even though it's more of the origin story, I think that seven pages would have been better if it was just the origin story. Right. So that that's that, but that's why I'm saying like they could have they could have like done something. It's like 
like you know sowed the seed of like you know Calgar not actually being Calgar mm-hmm. you know but they don't say it until like the last issue of like right. a different thing See, that's why more, I think more. but I think that that I, I know you're saying like not to cut you off but I know you're saying that it's like a safe choice what they're doing but my problem also is is that they should have just done a regular space marine story about a group of space yeah, they could I have think, done anything but else I, I think i think this is this just is, to sow the seed yeah for but, 40K. This is, but then again this is that would be just uh uh if you if you weren't into the 40k universe then it's a, just a typical sci-fi um you, you can ins- insert any genre into it of these you know like like space you know, space giants doing what they do. Well, then the this writer. One, this no, hold on, but this one is the draw is the Calgore origin story. That's the draw. You're you're absolutely right. But what about the people that have no idea who Marnius Calgar is? Well, if you did a five issue mini series of just a Space Marine book, the writer NGW needs to figure out a way to make it not just another sci fi book, mm-hmm. to make it a forty k book. Right, but what, to on, show but that surface, what 40k is on, but, but you know on the surface I mean? it's just another sci-fi book. The thing that makes um, the 40k different is what they're explaining now with chaos and stuff like that. But really, the origin story. So I guess in a way, it's like there are people who want to know his origin, and then the other people who don't really care who he is, but they're looking at it like, wow, well, look at all this violence and cool stuff that I see here. Yeah. So the real fans of 40k are buying it because that's why I want to know his origin story. You know, yeah. but then again, if it was a Necron book, I'd buy it too. So. Right, and and like the the only my, the only reason why I, I was saying that is because um, I, I I watched reviews of the first issue, obviously after we did our video, but I've mm-hmm. seen reviews, and some people don't even know what 40k like they know about 40k. Like this one guy, he said he's like, yeah, I've read like one or two of the Dan Abnett novels, and. Uh, right. And then he's like, I picked this up, and I don't. He's like, I don't know what's going on. Right. He's like, so I think well, that that's if, like, I that's think like that I know what a Lamborghini is. I just never driven one before. I, you know? I think that if they did a, it would have been better as a just a normal 40k book instead of focusing on this guy because it's like it's like nobody knows who like who's gonna know yeah, who's Marty as Calgar is unless you play or know anything about 40k like us. So to just a normal person that's reading Marvel, they see this they're like who who's Marty as Calgar? They read the first issue. How how are the sales on this? Is I it, don't know. That's that's maybe but, we should look into it for the next next issue and see how how the series is selling just because yeah. you know because you'll you'll know how it is it's like but i think this was specifically for fans of 40k right and, and if like, they and then if they pick up a few more that's e- that's even a benefit right and if they really want I, I i just i don't know i don't know how i feel about it just because it's like well about the series as a whole but this I, I, issue i like i did like this issue a lot i thought it was good um going into it i kind of told myself don't worry about the name change don't yeah. worry about the whole switch just go into it as a calgar fan and I really did like it, um, and I'm looking forward to the next issue. Yeah. It kind of brought me back because I was really like, like we, you know, let's not be labor. If you want to know how we felt about the last issue, go watch the other video. But this one really kind of for me was like, all right, let's let's get back on track here. And I'm glad they did it. I'm looking forward to the next one. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and then you know, the 40k universe is full of violence. I think they really the app, the artists and, and the writers really kind of kind of put it together because everything was exactly how it should be yeah yeah so that is pretty much it for our review of marnius calgar number three if you did enjoy this give this video a like and also if you read it comment down below and let us know what you think about this issue also and check out our other 40k uh marnius calgar reviews we did reviews of the first and second issue so go check those out and that's it guys like comment subscribe if you're new and we'll see you in the next one